Brothers again welcome back to your own YouTube channel the Vestra Lingua and your success is the culture. So today in this session we are again going to continue pronoun. But instead of starting the P square we are going to cover the E square. But what's the meaning of P square and E square? As my introduction, uh, introductory lecture I have told you how to remember the types of pronoun that's the pair of the whole square plus R cube. Let me write over here. Pedi the whole square plus R cube. Here, square. Square means if uh, there is a square on 2. Uh, if there is a square on 2 into 3, it means uh, uh, 2 is repeated by 2 and 3 is repeated by 2. So here, it also the maths that uh, P square into E square. So we have covered P square, that's the personal and possessive pronoun. And now we are going to cover the E square, that's the emphatic and exclamatory. D square, it means demonstrative and distributive. I square means indefinite and interrogative. And E R Q, sorry, R Q, reflexive, uh, relative and reciprocal. Now, emphatic pronoun. So, what does the word emphatic means? What does the word emphatic means? The two lectures, in my two lectures, that about the possessive and the personal pronoun, I have, you know, told, I have emphasized that all the things about all the parts of the grammar with the help of the name. And from my starting, I am repeating always that the 50% of the topic, all history geography is hidden in its name. So emphatic. The word emphatic has been derived from the Latin known emphas. Which means to strong, to express, uh, to express something a strong pressure or a strong feeling. That's emphatic pronoun. Myself, yourself, ourselves, sorry, ourself, ourselves, himself, himself, herself, they, uh, himself, himself, herself, herself. So these are the emphatic pronoun. But What's are uh, what's the use of the emphatic pronoun? Okay, ma'am, that these all are emphatic pronoun. We understood about the emphatic pronoun. That what are emphatic pronoun? But ma'am, what is the use of emphatic pronoun? So let me explain. The use of emphatic pronoun is just only to emphasize to emphasize what to emphasize the noun in the coming sentence. For example. It just comes after subject to emphasize. Sorry, it emphasizes the subject. It means it it uh, you know it creates the pressure on the subject. Just like if uh, someone is invis investigate uh, investigating on very particular you know case, then he asked me, uh, "Have you seen this very particular person?" Then I said, "Yeah, I have seen it." But instead of saying yeah, I myself has, uh, I myself has saw this person. I myself has saw this person. It means I am emphasizing that I myself, <coughs> sorry, I myself, I myself has saw this person wandering here and there. If somebody is not believing me, that I will say, I myself will do this work. You don't worry. It means it just it is just coming after what? I. And I is what? I subject over here. In my case video again I am repeating. I have taught to you about how to identify the subject in a sentence. And how to identify object in a sentence. So if you haven't watched that video you will get you know somewhere wandering in the sky. In the I button and you from there you, could, you can get that video. Now. It just comes off the subject to emphasize it, to, you know, to something like to give the strong pressure to the subject. Just like, I myself will do this work. I myself will do this work. We, uh, we ourselves will support you. Will support you. She herself uh, is responsible for that. You yourself will do this work. He himself is blamed for this crime. In this very particular pronoun, you'll also get singular and plural. Just like sing, I have told you again in my noun and number lectures 
that to make to make the pronoun plural ending with f double f or f e how to make these things plural so if you haven't watched that video you will also get that uh, link of that very particular video in the description box and you can watch over there so if you want to make f into plural then you can uh, use v e s so the singular comes myself yourself herself himself ourselves and uh, and themselves and all that and in plural it will change into myself because here is f so we will convert it into v e s into plural yourselves ourselves himself and many more and yourselves also and ourselves also so but we have to use this very particular you know a uh, singular things and the plural things when you are going to use the singular things just like myself yourself then you will use the singular subject that i myself will do this work i myself will do this work see herself is responsible for that he himself is a quiet man right in a uh, button uh, plural you going to use plural subject that we ourselves will support you we ourselves will support you we uh, okay let's say they themselves they themselves are responsible for that so that's all about the emphatic pronoun and let's start the exclamatory pronoun We are going to talk about the exclamatory pronoun that you might have heard about the exclamatory sentence, exclamatory, you know, adjective, exclamatory pronoun. Uh, so a student gets quite confused in using the, you know, exclamatory pronoun. Even I myself got confused when I was preparing the notes for you all. What's about the, you know, uh, exclamatory pronoun? But instead of confusing, instead of being vague, you that is fine. This that very particular sentence that the exclamatory pronoun. So the word exclamatory pronoun means to show some, uh, you know, a strong ovation, strong feeling. That's what you see. Each and every word exclamation means same. The difference is only that we put pronoun, we put adjective, and that's only the difference. Let me erase this all things. You know, I feel very angry when I am going to. Raise this all the things because after doing so much of speaking to you all, uh, I have to erase that all the thing. Exclamatory pronoun. Exclamatory pronoun. Exclamatory pronoun. So the word exclamatory has been derived from the Greek word exclaims, which means to express some strong feeling, emotions, and the noun and the pronoun. You know, everyone knows that it's quite a common piece of cake for everyone that the words which are used instead of noun. Exclamatory. Exclamatory. Means the W H family. I am uh, I am just taking example to make you understand what B T S has gone to India has gone from America. What? She bought a new car.
what you haven't watched extraordinary What? Don't you know? What? You don't know Sachin Tendulkar? You don't know Sachin Tendulkar?